Do you want to animate blocks in Minecraft Bedrock Edition? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the basics on how to animate blocks and make your pack just that much better. To start things off, I have a folder link below in the description where I've got two assets that will be very important. One of them is an image that we'll be using to create our animation and our texture, and the other one is actually code that will make the animation work. Now, you will need an image editing program that can edit this image, so um, I recommend paint.net, uh, Photoshop if you have it, GIMP, um, that's for PC. If on mobile, you can probably find an alternative that works good for you. For the JSON file, you'll probably need um, something like Notepad if you have it or Visual Studio Code. Again, there's probably an alternative to that for mobile. With that being said, let's start off right away. So I'm gonna open up this flipbook.png file with paint. That's what I'm gonna be using personally. And you can see that this image is comprised of four squares um, that are both lighter and darker and numbers on them. So this is what um, the texture or the, the file will look like that you're gonna have your animation on. Now I've gotten myself a diamond block just to demonstrate how this will work. Uh, I'm gonna create a second layer just so we can keep this image below and know, um, you know which uh, block is which. So I'm just gonna paste these over like this. And you can see that they go over the previously existing squares perfectly. That, that's not what I meant to do. There you go. And you can see we have now four diamonds on top of each other. Now, the reason why we're stacking these, if you want to call it that, is because that's how Minecraft works with um, animating blocks. So basically, this is the starting block of the animation. Nothing usually happens here. Now, if you move on to the second one, and let's say we add something like a, a, a glint or we try to do that, then, you know, it'll, it'll show this image um, in the next animation phase of the block. And let's say we can continue that to um, here. And then for the last block, we can have it <laughs> abruptly um, end because I haven't done this correctly. There we go. Um, that's a good example of how you can um, animate this block. But we're going to be making a bit more of a polished attempt at animating this block. You can have more or less uh, blocks here to represent the actual animation stages. So you can just have two if you just want something really small, like just change a color or if you want to have an animated rgb will pack you can just have all the colors be different and have like you know eight, eight eight rows of blocks or something like that all right i'm now done doing the animation this is what it looks like roughly we'll be looking at it in game in a second but what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be saving this image so we're going to go ahead and save this file um, as a png and we're going to be calling it the same exact texture as the one you just opened so for our case we're gonna be calling this diamond underscore block because that's what we just um, got from our pack. I'm gonna be saving it and I'm gonna be going back to this file and it's right here. Now you can paste this into your pack already. You have to obviously replace it with your original block texture that you had opened, but I'm gonna first um, edit this flipbook um, JSON file first. So once you have it open, um, this is gonna be this text right here, which is called insert block here. It's also down here, but for here, what you have to do is you have to uh, put the name of the file that you uh, open up. So this is diamond underscore block. And for this case, it's going to be the same right here, diamond underscore block. Now, the fun stuff happens down here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of zeros um, and some different numbers down here. But these are basically all the frames. So all the zeros are the first animation. All the ones are the second animation. All the twos are the third animation and all the threes are the fourth block down here that are part of this animation. So you basically can just mess around with these ones. You can remove all the ones if you want to have your animation be uh, faster and instantly and loop uh, instantly. The reason why I have so many zeros is because I don't want my animation to be um, every single second. I want to, you know, space that out a little bit so that uh, it's not really like in your face all the time, if that makes sense. You can also edit this top part right here, so you can, uh, this right here is ticks per frame, you can change this to be faster, so you can have two ticks per frames and basically speed up the animation even more. What's important is that if you have more blocks in your animation, so if you have an eight block animation that takes a while, you're gonna have to put numbers all the way to seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to represent all of those uh, eight animation blocks. If you don't do that, then one texture will just not appear in your animation. All right, so now we're basically done. You're going to be saving up your diamond block file, or for those that already have, just take your flipbook textures file, go to your uh, pack, go to textures, and then just paste it in 
here. And that should be it. Let's look at what the animation looks like in game. And all right, this is what it's going to be looking like in game. And I'm not going to lie, this looks actually really good. I'm actually really happy how this turned out. I think I'm going to tweak some little things because this was obviously a sort of rush video, but I actually like this a lot. And again, this doesn't have to be just a diamond block. This could be the cobblestone. This could be wool. This could be whatever block you want, as long as a block. If this doesn't work on items uh, yet, I'm trying to figure out if that's possible and, and if it is how to do that. But but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it didn't work for you or if there's any problems, just comment them in the description below and I'll try to help you out. If this did help, then liking and subscribing would be very much appreciated. And also let me know what types of blocks you will be animating because it's actually interesting to see what people want to have animated. I'm assuming most people just want to do some sort of RGB wool, but uh, we'll see. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.